What's up, Pokemon trainers? Welcome back to another video. I'm Pokemon. This is my beautiful wife. And if you're watching this, that means that we are officially on maternity. And paternity leave. So we know everyone is anxious to hear the news about our baby, and we are so excited to share it with you. But in the meantime, we're going to be taking a short break from our channel. But the good news is we have some really awesome friends who took time off of their channels to come on over here and create content just for you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, please go check out their channel. The links will be in the description box below. But that's it from us for now. We will see you in a few weeks. Love you guys. All right, take it away. What's up, Pokemon trainers? I am neither a Pokemon nor a beautiful wife. Unless somebody out there wants to change that. I mean, there ain't no ring on it. Hit me up in those DMs. Well, who am I, you might be asking. I'm Dorobozaru, and um, people have trouble pronouncing that, so Sarah, just call me Sarah. I am a Canadian, I live in Japan, and I like to collect Japanese Pokemon cards. So today, I'm here, well, to keep you guys company, because Pokemon and wife are a little bit busy. You see, they got a Poke baby about to hatch from its egg, and, you know, as Poke parents do, you have a lot to prepare. So while they are very busy, I'm here with 10 packs of the light consuming darkness, or the darkness that consumes light. You could call it either or. Now, I chose these packs because this set has exactly five water Pokemon in it and five fairy Pokemon, as well as Guzma and Wick, or Wiki. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name, to be honest. So, today we're trying to determine, is the Poke Baby going to be a boy or a girl? And we're going to count up the number of Water and Fairy Pokemon, and Wicks and Guzmas, if we get some, and see what kind of Poke Baby we should be expecting to hatch in the nearest future. Well, I have 10 packs here. Hopefully that'll give us a nice little stack and let's see, is this Poke Baby going to be a Poke Boy or a Poke Girl? So for those of you who know me, hi, lovely to see you. I hope you are enjoying your time over here at Pokemon and Wife. They are a lovely, lovely couple and I love their videos. And for those of you who don't know me, um, hi, nice to meet you. So I usually just chat away as I open things so I get a lot of names wrong. I know Alolan Raticate. I know that's a Dusclops. Rhyhorn, I know your name. Hey, and our first water Pokemon, and it's one of the monkeys. Uh, Simi Poor, I think? And we have a Super Scoop Up. All right, so I'm gonna make a little pile for boys on the right, and we'll put girls on the left. So we've got one point for Team Pokeboy right now. Let's see what's going on. Whew. This is an older set. I'm forgetting what's in it now. Oh, I saw something shiny. Oops. We got a Potown. What am I doing? <laughs> we have a Dabbing Dust Skull. Stuffle, the cutest stuffle of them all. Metapod and... Ooh, we have a Dusk Noir, I think, as our first hollow. All right. All right, all right, all right. Still only one point on the board for either gender. Oh my goodness. Pack number three. Let's see what we get. All right. We have Butterfree. Bye-bye, Butterfree. Nyasper? Esper, right? It's Japanese name is Nyaspa. Nyasper. Oh, we have a Morlul, I think. Morlul becomes Shinata. Let's just put it down here. It's pink. So we have one point for pink, one point for blue, and a Tangela. Oh, and we have another one. One of you is more lull, one of you is shenotic. I don't know which is which, but it's two. Two pink cards on the board. Two pink, one blue. What you gonna do? Let's see what we get. I think if by some miracle we pull Full Art Wick or Guzma, that pretty much decides the baby's gender. Like, it doesn't have a choice at that point. All right, we have a Tormenting Spray. Portigon 2. That's two points for blue. Uh, Panpour, right? Pampor, then Simipor, Simipor, Pampor. Anyway, this is a <laughs> Wimpod. There we go. Galissapod! He just evolved right in front of us. He was all Wimpod, and now he's a Galissapod. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, Galissapod's going to hang out back here in the special place, because that's where GXs and other special, special things go. 
I don't know. Glucopod shown up, so that means we might be seeing Guzma. Let's see. I mean, I would love, 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 love to get a Guzma. Um, there are a lot of full art trainers I do not have yet. Oh, you're one of the ones I forget. Um, Corbis. I'm going with it. Let's just call it that. Stuffle. <gasps> Simi pours back again. Dust skull and a super scooper. Super scoop up. Super scooper. It's something with super and scooping in it. That is all I need to know. Woo! How are we doing here? Oh, this is pack number six. Okay, we're we're chugging along. <laughs> Making some good speed here. Let's see. Okay, we have Oh, I just I just learned how to keep these two guys' names straight in my head. This one is Toxicroak, right? Yes, I think so. I think I got it. I feel pretty confident. Porygon. Oh, we have a Ralts. Ooh, we're, we're keeping pretty even here. Three and three. Wimpod. Oh, but we have a hollow. Hollow Gyarados. That's a hollow for the blue side. Now, if I remember right, there isn't a hollow fairy card. There's just a Gardevoir GX. So I'm not going to give the hollows or GX has any special extra bonuses just because that's not fair. Hey, it's a boy. Guzma, he goes in the boy pile. Oh, and Panpour. Boy pile is taking a lead. Um, Electrike? Is that it? Electrike? Electros? Tynamo Elect something. Um, hello and Ratata. Whoa, we're, we're getting a lot of uh, water. Um, I guess you guys better start painting the baby's room blue. Or just paint a Guzma colors, because Guzma's awesome. You know what? Just invite Guzma over to do the decorating. I think he would probably give you a pretty rad nursery. Ah, uh, da, da 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 I just realized. We've only had one GX. Oh, no. Um, no, oh, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? It's something to do with being like a Clydesdale horse. Mud... Mudsdale? I, I have so much trouble. Mudsdale or Mudsdale? I always want to put a consonant in there where I don't think it belongs. Caterpie! I can't get your name wrong. Suck! Um, I guess that's a point to Team Man and whichever gender he's hoping for secretly. We'll, we'll, we'll just put that over here. He can hang out with my Pikachu buddy. Tynamo and Porygon Z! Whoa, it's not looking good for Team Girl over here. We've only got two packs left. I think it might be a boy. If it is a boy, can you name him Guzma? I mean, that would just make my day. <laughs> not only we need to name him Guzma, but you have to have, like, when the doctor presents you with the baby, he has to say, it's a boy, Guzma, and hand it to you. That, that would be beautiful. Although maybe after going through labor, that wouldn't be as funny. I've never been through labor. It doesn't sound fun. Good luck with that. Um, <laughs> what just happened? Uh, this is a beware. I, I can remember. Beware the beware. Beware my tangents. That's a thing that happens with me if you don't know me. Right on. Porygon. Pikachu. And Tangrowth. Well, it's time for that last pack magic. If uh, this baby's going to be a girl, right about now is the time to say it. You know, with like Full Art Wiki, Wiki Wiki Wiki, or, you know, Gardevoir, Full Art Gardevoir. I think if this special, special Gardevoir showed up, we'd have to give her some extra points. Give the girl some extra points. You know what I'm talking about, I hope, because I don't. So Viper, um, Mudbray, I think. Oh, another water Pokemon, Koi King. <gasps> But then Arald's right behind. Let's see, what's our last card going to be? It's a Raichu! Well, I think that that's like a point for Team Wife, since she loves Raichu. We'll stick Raichu. You know what? Those are backwards. Sock should be in front of Samson the Squirtle, because Pokemon loves Squirtle. And Raichu can hang out with Pikachu, because that's what Pikachu becomes. Become a glasses-wearing Raichu. All right, well, our final tally here. We have one... Two, three, four fairy cards. So that is four points for Team Baby Girl. And over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven water cards plus 
It's your boy Guzma, so with eight points, I'm afraid, it's a boy! And its name is Guzma, because Guzma says so. I mean, Guzma's name is Guzma in English and Japanese. You can't argue with that. Plus, 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 let me reach over here and remind you, he is one cute as heck Pokemon. I'm just saying, just saying, it's a boy, its name is Guzma, and it might be a Pikachu. We're getting weird. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that you will, along with me, be looking forward to finding out if our prediction is true. Will it truly be a Pokeboy? Only time will tell. So, thank you very much. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Dorobozaru. If you enjoyed this video, well, of course, comment, like, subscribe to my good friends, Pokemon and Wife, and thank you very much to them for inviting me to come over here and say hi. And if I didn't totally terrify you with my rambling and tangents and Pikachu puppetry, I'm Dorobozaru. You can jump on over to my channel and say hi anytime. I'm always happy to say hi to anyone, because it's kind of lonely over here. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Congratulations to Pokemon and wife. I hope whatever your baby turns out to be, it is beautiful and healthy and happy. Just as happy as you guys make me and everyone else who watches your videos. Lots of love to you and everybody watching. Bye for now.